I am actually going to go ahead and present this product, or at least the concept of it, with an award before I even open it. This gets the award for being the coolest product I think I have ever had the pleasure to check out that came in a white box. Okay? Actually, no, it's actually really, looks really cool. Basically what this is, this is the Wow Keys. It is made for the iPod or iPhone. You use it in order to be a keyboard for, well, yeah, okay, your PC, your Mac. It's a very expensive PC or Mac keyboard, but you can use it as a keyboard for your iPod or your iPhone. But wait, there's more. Okay, let's go on to the back. Here you can see the basic layout of the keyboard. It's a very, very clean layout. No number pad, no nothing like that, okay? We've got hotkeys including PC slash iPhone mode, home search, play pause, next track, display on off, all that good stuff. Specifications. Okay, the key technology is Pentagraph Scissor Keys. It works on uh, Windows OS, Mac OS, and iOS 4.x. All right, cable length, operating life cycles, at least 10 million key life cycles. Okay, features, keyboard, okay, keyboard for PC, Mac. Mode switch between PC and iPhone, synchronization with iTunes, hotkeys for iPod and iPhone. Okay, so this is all cool, this is all cool. Uh, let's open it up, and then I'm gonna explain why this is so cool. This is the ultimate media PC keyboard. Ultimate. I'm going to go as far as to say that. Yes, I did. Why is it the ultimate, you might ask? Because it comes with this piece of styrofoam. Styrene, styro package, whatever. No, that's not why. Because, there we are. You can use it. Okay, let's, let's get rid of the, uh, you know, fake iPhones, put a real iPhone on here. All right, there we go. Just like that. You can use it in order to type emails on your iPhone. Okay, so let's say you're, here, let's get the box away. Doesn't come with any drivers, that's good, driverless. Okay, so you can use it for two different purposes. You can type emails on your iPhone while you're using it. So here, we'll turn this on, okay. You know, maybe I want to, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Apparently it's not optimized for my iPhone. I wonder if it's working already. Okay, give me a minute. Let's see if we can try this out right away. So I've got the Omnio Wow Keys uh, plugged in via USB now. So it does need power. Okay. Um, and then what I've done with it is uh, I've also put my phone in it. It says the application is not installed. This accessory requires an app that you have not installed. Would you like to install it from the App Store? Yes, I would. So I'll install the app and then I'll be back in a moment. Well, it turns out it was PebCAC. Basically, all I had to do to get it working properly was press this button. So you can see clearly here when I go into my notes and I try to type something, nothing happens. If I do this, all of a sudden I can type quickly on my iPhone. Wow, keys. Oh no, I missed the backspace. Okay, the backspace isn't very conveniently located. Overall, I'd say the layout is anywhere between good and very good, because you can see I do have my shift keys in the proper locations. From time to time, you see these shift keys shorten. That's terrible for people with small hands like me. The enter key is also properly um, here, as opposed to being a shortened enter or like a tall enter like that. Um, haven't really looked at the slashes. Slashes look okay. Uh, page up and page down. Far more important than home and end, probably, for use on a, on a mobile device. So those are very conveniently located as well. Backspace, yeah, you know what? That's the one that I would probably like to see moved. I'd like the backspace here, and then the home here. In fact, that makes perfect. Why did they even do it this way? You got end, page down, page up, home. And you put your backspace there. How complicated is that? You've also got a delete key up here. Very handy as well. You've also got a dedicated play button. So I've gone, gone ahead and turned on my Rihanna. Uh, you can turn up the volume, turn down the volume, turn off the volume, turn the volume back on. I don't know what this button, oh, okay. You can turn your virtual keyboard on or off. Like if you actually wanted to use this and you could, uh, you can lock it, unlock it. Cool. Switch between uh, iPhone and uh, PC mode. I don't know what this does. Oh, okay. That apparently locks it as well. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn that off. 
Oh, okay, this takes us back to the, uh, so this is our home button. Okay, so then uh, from there we can, you know, navigate back into our notes where we are making notes, making more notes. It's um, actually a very comfortable, okay, I'm making a lot of mistakes, but it's my fault, not the uh, keyboard's fault. Oh, I don't like that backspace key. So it's a pretty comfortable keyboard. Uh, the overall quality of the unit feels quite good. You can see there's a little bit of flex to the unit, but that's partly due to the plastic construction, which you're not gonna get something as lightweight as this without using plastic construction. And it's not gonna be comfortable to sit on the couch with it on your lap if it's not made of plastic. So uh, here's what it's really for, from my perspective. Okay, you do need third-party apps to make it do this. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use the uh, uh, the wow keys in order to navigate here. I'm just going to go into the app store where I already loaded up the app that is really to me the killer app. So for two bucks, you already spent a hundred dollars on the keyboard. What's another two bucks? You can get Mobile Mouse Pro. What that does is it turns your iPhone into a trackpad. You install the desktop application on your PC, whether it's a Mac or a PC, and then all of a sudden you sit with this on your lap on the couch. You control your media center by using this as a touchpad and you got a keyboard. Like, wow, awesome solution, right? And you don't actually need to have um, data on the USB. So if you have one of those little mobile USB guys with the batteries inside, you can just plug it into that and that's your power. So the entire thing is wirelessly communicating with your PC and then communicating via the dock with your iPhone. It looks like my iPhone is also charging, so it does operate as a, as a phone charger. The other app that is kind of a killer app, but not to me as useful as the mobile mouse one, is the uh, touchpad one, or the number pad one. So then you have a full keyboard and a number pad if for whatever reason you wanted to enter numbers into something. So that's fully PC and Mac compatible. Bear that in mind as well. I am plugged into a PC right now. If I go ahead and I switch to PC mode, let's go ahead and open up this. In theory, it should work. In... Oh, I accidentally pressed the home key again. See? That's, uh... In theory, it... Come on! In theory, it works. Okay, so there we go. It does work, just my pet cack. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about the Omnio Wow Keys. It's a really cool little device. Thank you for checking this out on Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.